Our initial landing has captured a devastated outpost. Information is scarce and unreliable at best. Neighboring citizens have fled their villages. Remaining survivors tell conflicting stories. Evidence points to a Nyon invasion. Rally local militia and train them quickly. Destroy all hostile forces you encounter. Assume the worst. Assume we are at war. Pressing toward Arathia's capital of Stedwick, we have encountered peasants talking of Fairfeather, a town to the north. Though surrounded, it has withstood the Nyon invasion. Reports are unconfirmed, but these peasants believe angels watch over the town. Angels have been spotted in Arathia before. During the Cregan infestation, scattered reports told of winged beings massacring large Cregan forces. Either the angels have returned, or they never left. How long Fairfeather can last against the Nyon and Cregan onslaught is unknown. If Fairfeather falls, a potential ally may be lost. Each year, griffins from around the world migrate to Griffincliff. Armies of King Griffinheart I tamed the griffins and trained them for war. With these great beasts, King Griffinheart unified the divergent human colonies and formed Erathia. King Griffinheart felt the land's native griffins were key to any Erathian war. To secure Stedwick, we need the griffins. Early intelligence reports forces from Nyon and Eofol have barricaded themselves inside Stedwick. All land access to the capital has been blocked. Their reinforcements arrive via underground tunnels. Armies from the west will meet us on the field of battle. There is little else to say. We do not stop until Stedwick is liberated. My name is Dorel, ambassador from Avli. I bring a message from Queen Catherine. After the liberation of Stedwick, a Cregan envoy appeared before the royal court. He claims they have captive King Roland Ironfist of Enroth. They are asking for one million gold ransom. We cannot validate this claim. True or not, Queen Catherine is unwilling to pay. After interrogating the envoy, we learned Roland is held deep inside Eofel by Clan Creela. Locate Clan Creela's base of operations and rescue Roland. In addition to your Erathian army, we will support you from Avli. This mission is of utmost seriousness. You may rescue Roland, or find yourself the victim of a trap. My name is Winston Langer, ambassador from Bracada, ruled by Grand Vizier Gavin Magnus. Forces from Tetalia and Krulad are fighting in West Arathia. After months of conflict, the battle still rages. Though weary of yet another war, my king sends reinforcements to aid your efforts. Brilliant tactics will not win this battle. Body count will determine the victor. Good luck. We now know how Arathia fell to Nyon and Eofol. Through an extensive network of underground tunnels dug by the Overlord's armies, they struck simultaneously in many areas with overwhelming numbers. Credit the military for holding the invasion to half the country. We have discovered the main artery for transporting forces from Nyon to Arathia. It is under the ocean, connecting the Nyon underworld to the Arathian mainland. Bricotta and Avali have sent armies to join the fight. First, we must eliminate the remaining Cregans and Nyon forces from the mainland, then pursue them underground and drive them back to the shores of Nyon. Upon liberating Stedwick, my fears were confirmed. My father did not die of natural causes. He was poisoned. Investigations conducted by General Morgan Kendall prior to the war yielded no suspects. Now I learn the necromancers, seeking a military tactician equal to myself, have resurrected my father, King Griffinheart. After killing King Vilmar, he took command of their military and their throne. Now they come to us. They cannot stop the monster they have created. As a gesture of good faith, they send a messenger to speak only to me. He will tell me who killed my father. Find this hero and deliver him to me safely. I grow weary of this war. So do the necromancers. We have agreed to cooperate in the destruction of King Griffinheart. I never thought I would fight alongside the necromancers, but today we forge weapons for both our armies. With their help, along with the forces from Bracada and Avali, we should be able to repel all undead from Arathia.
What remains of my father's undead army is the necropolis where he resides. His last legions of undead are significant. I will join this difficult battle, but you will command the field. There is one more order you must follow without question. Lord Hart must not die. He is our traitor. We have confirmed the information the necromancers gave to us. Lord Hart was part of King Vilmar's necromantic cult. With Lord Hart's access to Stedwick, poisoning King Griffinhart's food was a simple task. Acting on orders from King Vilmar, he sought to avenge the banishment of the necromancers from Arathia. I have special plans for Lord Hart.